Hello you guys, today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Lego Ninjago Legacy, set number 70666. It is the Golden Dragon set with 171 pieces and it is $20 in the US. And anyway, uh, we get a dragon build and this in the set and we get three figures in this set. And anyway, we're going to go over those figures first. So we're going to start off with probably the most important character in the set, and that is Golden Lloyd. So here we have Golden Lloyd. And yeah, um, it's it's a pretty nice figure. I mean, it's nice that we get another version of, like a newer updated version of the Golden Lloyd figure. Um, he has the new um, ninja like mask mold with its gold mostly, and then we have the dark green um, bandana sort of thing right there. The face print underneath there is an angry expression on this side, and then on the other side we get an even more angry expression. And, I mean, with the mask on, the only big difference is that the eyebrows are kind of shaped the same, so he looks about the same amount of anger on each side. Maybe a bit more angry on this side, but he has a bit of, like, gold fire around his eyes on that side, so that looks pretty nice. You can kind of see that if I... And I cover it up more back there, so that's pretty cool. And then he does have the uh, dragon design back there. It's slightly different from the original golden dragon design that Lloyd had. So nice torso printing on the front with the dragons and stuff like that. Nice leg printing too, and he just has a golden sword there. Anyway, that's it for golden Lloyd. Anyway, probably the most uh, unique figure in this set is the Overlord. So this is a really nice figure. I really like this. It is. Cool, it is the second time we're getting the Overlord as a figure. First time it's actually in an affordable set. The last one that the Overlord came in was uh, $120 as opposed to this one being $20. He has the helmet from the um, older Season 2 Ninjago sets with the that piece right there. And then his head is a trans purple color with some really weird looking like teeth and some fire going through his face right there and really weird looking eyes too but I think that looks pretty cool he does have a very large staff here as well we can get rid of that for now um, he does have the uh, double arm thing so he has four arms I've never actually seen him in the show with four arms except for when you know when he's like um, possessing garment on sort of and I mean that's kind of what they should be showing here because of the um, you know the final battle is what's happening here Lloyd versus the overlord but it's it's not really because he the torso is like very similar to what it looks like in the um, rebooted design from the season rebooted and the kind of ghostly design thing right there um, he did not have that but that is cool to get that in a new color with the black and trans purple and then underneath this um, double torso thing we have just a black torso with some uh, purple detailing on the side and that's pretty weird looking but it's kind of cool too and anyway that is it for the overlord figure and i think it's cool that we're getting this in a cheap set like this and anyway last figure um is the stone warrior so this is the little guy stone warrior he's got the little legs right there and then he has the crossbow and i think i feel like they've done away with the uh stud shooter crossbow because i feel like they would have been using that instead of this one in this set but, uh, yeah, the other one was a lot more fun to play with, but I think that's probably why they got rid of it, because it shoots really hard and far. So, anyway, yeah, I think we're just going to be getting this crossbow from now on. He does have the hat from the Ninjago movie sets in red. First time I think we're seeing it in that color. He has the same detailing for the, the original Stone Warriors on the face, except I don't think we've gotten it in green before, so that's pretty cool. He does have the little um, thing with the arrows there. And then some similar torso printing to the original one, but slightly different. And yeah, that's pretty much it for all the figures in this set. And now let's take a look at the build. So for the build of this set, we get a small looking, well, a small dragon here. And it it's, looks pretty nice. Um, it, you know, it's the, f we don't really get a lot of very small dragon sets. Except for, you know, they do a lot of poly bags. We usually get like $30, $40 dragons at the cheapest and then like, usually like an $80 one, but this is like a good $20 sized dragon. 
And yeah, he um, has these big wings here, and they can be slightly posed, but I don't think that one is supposed to be posed in the middle there. I think you're supposed to have it like that. It does have some little claws here, and those can be, you know, angled up, down, and then the individual claws can be angled as well. The feet down here, the toes can be angled, and I like how those are kind of angled a bit outwards too. That's pretty cool. And yeah, it's very posable with the arms being able to, you know, go up and down and all that. Legs. And then there's also a flag here. It has a little dragon on it that can also be posed, but I think it's just supposed to stay like that. And then we also have a tail back here with two swords. And then with this set, they're actually using the molded dragon head designs, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, I thought that they were just going to stop doing that and start doing brick-built dragon heads all the time, but I like how they kind of um, do a bit of a throwback with this one. It's very similar to the original uh, golden dragon design and how they, you know how they like put the um, like ball shooters, like the really big ones, in the dragon mouths, or at least used to when they were molded? This one is kind of a small set, so they kind of shrunk it down just to set it to go with the stud shooter instead. You know, you can pose them out like this. Also, it is a hard plastic, not a rubber like I was expecting. Like how all the other ones are rubber, but yeah, the mouth kind of snaps open like that. And then you just push this mouth, like the top of the mouth down, and you shoot the stud off. And I think that's really cool that they did that here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this whole time. <laughs> I just shot it off again. For this whole dragon design, I think it's pretty good. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much it for the set, and now let's take a look at the packaging right here. So yeah, we do get the $20 box size here. Um, we have the dragon on here. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's a nice set, and yeah, it also says Season 2 up there, so showing that this is based on the Season 2, um, you know, story, so it kind of shows the part with the golden dragon right there. And yeah, I mean, it, it is a good set. I mean, I, I wish this one was like 15 bucks, but I mean, I understand why it's 20 I mean, we do get great figures, um, especially the Overlord, and I also really like Golden Lloyd. He's also a really good figure. And then, you know, they also just throw in a Stone Warrior for us in here, too. And then the dragon is great. I mean, it's, it's not the best dragon design, but it is a $20 set, so you gotta kind of keep that in mind. And then they did use the um, molded head design, which, you know, like I said, they don't do those very much for dragons, so I think that's pretty cool, and I mean, that kind of raises the price a little bit, but yeah, and I think so does the, uh, the double torso thing for the overlord, maybe the ghost thing there too, but yeah, good set, um, I really enjoy it, nice $20 Ninjago set, anyway, yeah, that's it for this set review, and anyway, I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.